we've had a bit of a day today. We've uh, removed said crossflow from Red Engine Bay and gearbox. Gearbox is already washed and cleaned and accidentally drained of all its oil and sitting down there. Engine main's had a bit of a clean as well so that we can get to the steering box. Pull that out nice and easy because this one's powered steered. And to get the powered steering out, we've got to take all these hard lines. One of these hard lines that go under the back of the engine. All of them need to be utilised because this box is different. Because there's a different ratio and they're power assisted. And that's normally hard under your sump. And uh, the only way you're going to change them is actually change the engine mount bolts because that's what actually holds them up. So we've got to pull them out of the other car, paint them up, put them in, replace that return line hose. Well, yeah, it must be the return line. That's a high pressure line there. Yep. Re replace the return line hoses so that they're nice and sweet because they're the ones that are probably the most flexible and most likely to fail in this case because the pressure, pressure lines look like they're like a fairly decent hydraulic hose judging by the size of the crimp, etc. They look pretty tough. We also need... Well, we don't need to change the bracketry because we changed the engine. Never mind. That pump's just got to go in the other engine bay. That actually has to sit with an aircon pump. I mean, this engine bay... Oh no, aircon pump's under the alternator. It's on this side of the engine. Yeah. That's excellent. We can have aircon and uh, power steering together. So, uh, next thing to do is have this thing rolling. I'll get this outside and clean this out. We've got to pull this gearbox out next. Um, but that car's got to go first. It's just in our way. It's not helping with getting anything done in the shed. The exhaust system's got to come out. Gearbox's got to come out. We're going to flip the gearbox and service the Borgwarner 35. Um, change the pan filter, which is probably... It may have never even been done. This is an 84 model car, and that may have never even been serviced in the 360,000 Ks it's done. We're going to replace some of these the steering joints and things like that down in the bottom of there uh, there's a few better ones on the ute next to us it'll go in this one obviously the entire steering box needs replacing which will be a little bit of a mission but we're going to put the steering column out of the red ute in as well uh, when we do that we're going to then put a console in and make it floor shift um, floor shift automatic rather than column shift uh, and we'll go from bench seat to two seater in this. The engine bay in here now that the engine's out needs a bit better of a clean. I did a pretty good job considering the engine was in there last time when I was in here with a pressure cleaner. As you can see it was all pretty pretty good. It's only really under the engine. And it was actually too bad. It didn't have too many oil leaks, it was alright. Um, and then I suppose I'll probably have to paint the engine bay as well. As you can see, it's pretty good for rust. There's a little bit up the top here, a little bit flaky in this piece here. I mean, if this was a valiance of a similar era, that would be gone. That whole bulkhead uh, and the top plate, everything would just be rusted out. They had a chronic problem with them. This one, where's the drain come out? That goes up to the wipers. Some of them got a drain that comes down internal. I found it once before, I think. If that drain's full of stuff, nah, it comes out of the bulk. Oh, there it is. There's this metal slot there. If that blocks up with leaves and things like that from the inside here, when the rain runs down your window and fills that up or blows in while you're driving, it fills this bulkhead up until it rusts it out. There's no other way for the water to get out. So that's probably all that's happened down here. It's probably lower than that point there get rid of this sad little exhaust system and uh, the two mufflers under the bottom of this are all blown out because it had a bit of an ignition fail one day on me look at how old that fuel filter is too it's amazing that's been that's been in the engine bay a long time they're in a bit of a tight spot to get to but what we may do is actually bring that line up put a fuel filter up high on the garden make a mount for it and come down and make it sensible so it's easy to service. Uh, I'm not sure how much this will get driven by the uh, lady that owns it, but in the day, we'll make it nice for somebody and uh, keep making videos on it as we do it. The engine bay is really good for rust, like surprisingly good. All the spots that you think would be really bad, like the front rails, 
They can be really bad in XFs. Or even XGs, XHs. My XH panel van that's fe been featured on the channel a few times. That was horrific in the door pillars and bottom of the guards. You had to be careful where you put the jack because you'd actually flex it. Yeah. If you have a look at the aircon system, we might give that a pressure test and see if the uh, condenser and everything's all sweet. Should be. And uh, get some new shock absorbers for the front of it, no doubt, as well. It'll be happy days. So, yeah, we've done a bit. Engine's on the stand. There she is. We've caught her out. It's been pressure cleaned, degreased. We're going to run the plastic hub fan because that's a heap better. Um, what's the bottom bracket for? Oh, it's the bottom of the alternator. I have to work out off between the two engines how we hold the alternator and there it is. So that bracket there, I'm in the light, that bracket there will have to come off this engine. That bracket holds the top of the alternator and it holds the pads, ah, the aircon pump down the bottom here and there's the aircon pump's adjuster. So it uses that one, one belt loop or changes. I don't know, we'll have a look when we set it out. We're gonna get rid of the big old finger chopper and the new engine's just a whole lot uh, healthier than what this one is. Uh, we've got a new water pump, we've got a uh, head gasket kit coming for it uh, and when I've got all those parts I'll link them all on eBay so you can find them nice and easy. Uh, I've got to order a set of Welsh plugs, I've got to take the flex plate off if it's in good nick and take this flex plate off and that'll go on the uh, back of this engine. So yeah, it's a lot of swapping and changing but once it's done it'll be good. We're going to go from the electronic dizzy to the two wire basic XE style dizzy. Remember this is a uh, 84 XF engine so it's an old pre-emission uh, for cat converters and all those kinds of things. Got a good radiator too, we pulled that out today. Yeah, and we go ahead and put all these bits back in there. But uh, as soon as we finish pulling stuff off that, I'm gonna push this outside, give it a massive clean because Nobody wants to work in a dirty engine bay. And uh, pull some more stuff out and then paint the engine bay. Yeah, I'll uh, endeavour to film as much of that as I get time to. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.